In this video today, I'll show how I built a World War II era Japanese Type 10 120mm naval gun out of paper, carton, and plastic scrap, plus its crew. I start by drawing the parts, then cutting them out. For the barrel, I used a plastic lollipop and cotton swab stick. For the breech block, I used carton. Then I used rolled up sketch pad paper for the differential and counter recoil cylinders. Then, I used carton to make the parts for the central pivot of the gun mount. Then, I made the parts for the elevation arc. Then, the parts of the trunnion bearings. I then glued the elevation arc to the right side trunnion bearing. Then, I used three layers of carton for the rotating mass mount. Once all components were made, I then glued them all together. And then for the turning and elevating wheels, I used carton and paper. The crew was made by modifying some surplus Ottoman Turkish artillery figures. For the caps and helmets, I casted them using super glue and Play Doh molds. For the webbing and equipment, I used carded and paper card. I felt the gun was undermanned, so I made one more figure. With the gun and crew complete, they are now ready to be painted. Before I start painting them, I use a brush on primer. For the base color of the gun, I use field blue. For the figures, I start with painting the flesh in which I use salmon rose. For the uniform, I use a mixture of Japanese uniform and beige. For the helmet, I use plague brown. And then for the webbing, I use beige. 
For the built-in boots, I use leather brown. And for the puttees, I use olive green. For the water canteen, I use black brown. And for the insignia, I use flat red and brass. For the officer's uniform, I use burnt umber. For the holster, I use red leather. And for the boots and map case, I use cavalry brown. Then for the sword and binoculars, I use black. Then for the markings and insignia, I use flat yellow and brass. And for the binocular lenses, I use pale blue. And then for the artillery shell, I use brass, pastel green, and flat red. For a flesh tone, I use a diluted orange brown. And for a shade on the uniform and gun, I used a diluted black brown. That's also all for this tutorial. I hope you'll like this one.